Today's video is going to be about movies that I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that you guys might have never heard of. So, let's get on with the show. Alright everyone, it's Jordy Paul here. Welcome back to a brand new video on Magpie Movies. How is everybody? It's Friday and I nearly finished, so I decided I'm going to record this video. So yes, here I am, freshly back from last weekend's trip to Hull, where I got to meet uh, Evander from Slayer Reviews for the first time. I met Jamie Batman Smith as well, and my friend Lee came along as well for it. Had a great time, as you saw from the video. I met Natasha Tassini, uh, met Amber Doig Thorne, both uh, actors or actresses from uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and the Honey. Um, and my friend Lee also met Jared um, from it, from the 1990 TV show Stroke Movie. So today, yes, um, today's going to be a video focusing on movies that I've thoroughly enjoyed, but might not be on everybody's radar. So the idea of this is, if I show you what um, the, the blue movies or Blu-rays that I have, or they're on streaming, then you guys might be interested in them, uh, and then have a have a watch, have a buy, stream, whatever you want to do, and then you can get, report back to me if you want and tell me what your thoughts are on the films that I've recommended to you. So before we get into the list, uh, I just want to thank everybody so far for the support uh, and the subscribers. If you are new to the channel and you like what you see and like my previous videos, uh, then don't be shy. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and uh, every time I do a new video, because you've done that, you guys will be the first to know. So, before we go on as well, don't forget, if you enjoyed this content, don't get the video, give the video a thumbs up. That'll be much appreciated. If you don't like it, give it the thumbs down. Either way, you guys are watching this, and that makes me happy. Anyways, let's start with the first movie. So the first movie is going to be Emergency Declaration. Which side should I put it on there? So Emergency Declaration is a Korean film. It focuses on a flight that's going from um, Korea to America. Um, now, whilst the plane is mid-flight, uh, a terrorist on board unleashes a airborne virus which starts killing off people. They're unable to land in America, unable to land on other soil. They're trying to, and basically, uh, we've got cops on the ground looking to get um, find out about terrorists and things like that. It's on for a good two hours or so, but I've been waiting to watch this for ages. If you're looking to get it, you can get Steelbooks and the 4K in Europe. Sadly, not in the UK. Uh, and the ones you get from Europe are unfortunately in German or in Spanish or Italian or French. There's no uh, English subtitles. So if you are wanting to see this, you can either stream it or you'll have to get the US version. Now this is the US version. This is how it's got imported. Unfortunately, when I went to try and stream it, I couldn't find any with embedded subtitles, which is why I picked this up. So that is Emergency Declaration. And that is recommendation number one. Recommendation number two is a British film, which was in Netflix. Uh, it's not Netflix anymore, but I, uh, but I'm led to believe from looking at social media that this is going to be getting a physical release. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I've heard. This is The Ritual. So the story behind this is a group of friends uh, decide to go in a homage to Norway or Europe. I can't remember the exact place. Uh, to go on a camping trip and on a friend who got uh, murdered at the beginning of the film. That's no spoiler. It, it, it happens. Uh, and then when they get there, things start happening and it takes a turn for the worse, shall we say. It's a great British flick. Um, I highly recommend it. Give it a go. That's The Ritual. Um, not much more I can say about that without giving anything away. But if you heard The Ritual or you haven't heard The Ritual, add that to your list. That's number two. Number three is a film that's been out for a while. Uh, it may have missed people's radars whilst it's been out. Some people might, there's quite a few on here, if I'll be honest with you, that I have included, but people may have heard of them. So if you have heard of them, well, that's fine, that's great. Give us your thoughts on them if you haven't. Um, 
then let me know. But either way, this is one that people may or may not know. This is the Belco experiment. Uh, this is basically uh, a group of people in a work environment where their office and place of work is shut down. And then orders come in in order to basically they either kill themselves or do all this stuff. And if they don't, there are consequences. Kind of a Saw-esque kind of uh, movie. Um, if you like your blood, you like your gore. If you like people trapped in rooms and like an escape room situation, then I highly recommend the Belco experiment. I'm not too sure what it's streaming on or if it's streaming, but you can see, as you can see, this is the UK copy, so you are able to purchase it. Um, so yes, that's number three, which is the Belco experiment. Give that one a watch. You might enjoy it. Next up is a dark horror uh, from the producers of Insidious and Sinister. And that is Dark Skies with a lovely lenticular sleeve here. Dark Skies centers around a family where strange things start happening to, the, happening to them. Kind of like paranormal, kind of uh, alien-esque. Uh, and it all um, builds up to a big finale. I have not seen this film in a long, 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 long time. I've seen it twice. Thoroughly enjoyed it both times. So if you're after a kind of horror, uh, stroke alien invasion, stroke paranoia, paranormal, or paranoid, uh, movie then Dark Skies is the one for you. I'm not too sure how I'm streaming for this one but as you can see it is physically available to buy in the UK. You probably get this for next to now, now so I highly recommend you watching Dark Skies. That is number four. Number five is The Burning Sea. Yes from the same people who made The Wave and The Quake comes The Burning Sea um, all around an oil rig um, I, can't, I have watched this, but I've completely forgotten. And I've got to get off it because... Um, what is the reason behind this? Um, oh, yes, there's a seismic shift and everything starts moving. They've got to get off the oil rig, basically. Um, really good thriller. Really, really good. If you like The Wave, if you've liked um, The Quake. This is subtitled. It is a UK release. The lovely Jimmy Powell sent this to me. Um, highly recommend it. Very good. You can get the 4K import from America. I'm happy with the Blu-ray. Uh, so that's the Burning Sea. Uh, next up is the Colin Farrell movie. Yes, um, this one is Tigerland. This is based in a combat training facility in Vietnam, where basically Colin Farrell goes and he doesn't really want to be there and he kind of helps people get out of wanting to be there and give them reasons to go home so they don't have to go to war. Uh, very poignant. Um, very very good film it's it's a good drama uh, based on the training leading up to uh, the Vietnam War uh, Colin Farrell's excellent in it and it's great it's, it's one of his earlier films um, this is the steelbook as you can see so you know it gets a UK release um, but yes Tigerland if you haven't seen it give that one a watch that's a highly recommended one from myself uh, next up is the one I've had to import I think this is a Scandinavian import and this is Doppled Spill but it's actually sleuth. This is a Kenneth Branagh movie. It stars Jude Law and Michael Caine, as you can see. Basically, Jude Law goes to the house of Michael Caine because he wants him to sign divorce papers because he is Michael Caine's ex, or soon to be ex-wife's lover. And it's a kind of um, tuning from be between the two where Michael Caine has says to him some of the lines of, if you want me to sign it, then you've got to kill me. Um, I, think that's, I think that's about right. I can't remember the exact uh, reason, but it's a really good thriller on for an hour and a half. Uh, I'm not too sure where this is available, to be honest with you, because like I said, I had to get this imported. Uh, but yeah, so that is Sleuth. Give that one a watch. Next up is a recent one, uh, another Korean one, I believe, and that's Project Wolf Hunting. It's about a group of um, prisoners who are getting transferred. Last time they got transferred, they escaped. So this time they're going on a boat, uh, a holiday guard boat, but on the boat are other things, like an experiment of some description. Um, which breaks loose. So the prisoners who are broken loose are tracking the crew to get off and the, and the guards and then also tracking the prisoners and the guards as something else. So that's what that is. But that, yeah, it's worth a go. Very good. Uh, if you want to kind of like escape stroke horror kind of uh, movie. Uh, so that is Project Wolf Hunting. Next up is a British drama uh, that I was wanting to see for ages. Finally picked it up. It's got Paddy Constantine and Jodie Whittaker in it, uh, and it is Journeyman. Very heart-wrenching movie, this. It's about a boxer who goes into his final boxing match. Uh, he's an older man going against a younger one. 
Uh, Paddy Constantine plays that boxer. He gets injured. He gets um, brain injury. And it's all about his recovery and how his family uh, and his wife, in particular Julie Whittaker, are dealing with it and how he deals with it. Very, very, very good acting. Very heart-wrenching movie. If you, if you like that kind of movie about, I guess, sports injuries and how it affects family members, etc., and you want great acting, then Journeyman's the one for you. This has got a UK release, as you can see. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so that's Journeyman. If you haven't seen it, give it a watch. I highly recommend that one. Next up is another foreign film. There's a lot of foreign films you'll notice in here, which go under the radar because they're not mainstream. This one is I Saw the Devil. This was highly recommended to me. Uh, again, I picked this up, UK release. Uh, it's regarding a serial killer who kills the wife or girlfriend, I believe, of a police detective. Police detective then captures him and then tortures him, but doesn't let him die. And there's a lot of to and fro between the two of them. And it's just like an, an insight into a killer's mind and how the police is taunting him, etc. Don't want to go into too much detail with regard to this one. Um, there's a lot of spoilers driven if that's the case. So if you're after a good uh, foreign film, but this is excellent. This really, really is a highly, highly, of all the ones in here, this is one of the highly recommended ones. So yeah, give that one a watch. That is I Saw the Devil. Uh, next up is a DVD. This does not have a UK uh, oh my head's sticking up. UK Blu-ray release here. I don't know if there is a Blu-ray release. It is a, um, I mean, like I say, it's a historical autobiographical story. It is on DVD. is Backbeat. Personally, I'm a massive fan of the Beatles. This centers along Stuart Sutcliffe um, and him being in Hamburg with the Beatles, with John, Paul, George and Pete Best. Before Ringo joined, I believe. I can't remember. I think that's right. Yeah. And it's all around the relationship between John Lennon and Stuart Sutcliffe. Now, we all know Stuart Sutcliffe tried, died because uh, he had an um, issue with epilepsy. And he died because of that and having a fit whilst in Germany. Astrid, who was his girlfriend. Her friend is the guy who took the photographs for a revolver. And also did, helped with the Beatles form their haircuts to be like the ball kind of cut. Uh, but this is a great... Beatles uh, backstory before they became famous. So if you're if you're a big fan of uh, the Beatles, if you're a big fan of historical, autobiographical, musical ones, this has got Stephen Dorff in it and Cheryl Lee. Stephen Dorff plays Stuart Sutcliffe. Um, so yeah, give that one a watch if you're a big Beatles or music fan. Next up is the one I've recommended ages ago, which is The Dry. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this one because if you look through my previous video, you see my review of it. Um, I just thought I'd bring it up again for new subscribers. If you go through my older uh, videos, you'll see I've done a review of this already. Uh, this stars Alec Banner uh, as a detective who goes back because one of his friends commits suicide. But there's more to it than that. And, and his family ask him to look into it. But he hasn't been um, welcomed back to the community, shall I say. But yeah, this is The Dry. No UK release. Um, Zach over in New Zealand, my little Tazzy Devil, he sent me this, which I'm very grateful for back in the day. So yes, give The Dry a watch. I think that might be on Sky. I could be wrong. Uh, three more to go. Uh, number uh, the third to last is the 800, based on a true story. This has been doing rounds, I think, for a while. Uh, again, this is Cine Asia in a Korean film about... Uh, the, is it the... Uh, do, 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 the Chinese soldiers holding up uh, in a factory and not allowing the Japanese soldiers to invade. This is prior to World War... Um, America get involved in the Second World War. Uh, so there are Americans on the side of a river. It's 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 just a, an epic. That's just worth a watch. So that's the 800. If you like your history ones, you like your war films, and you like uh, things which are based on true events, then the 800's for you. Oh, nearly dropped everything. Penultimately, we have another Cine Asia one, which is The Swordsman. Yes, The Swordsman. This was a blind buy for me. Uh, again, UK releases the same as the 800. This follows a swordsman who was the protector of an old king who got ousted. He then got blinded uh, in a fight. He then has to come out of retirement as such because his daughter's in trouble and the new um, kingpin or whatever they are, or the new leader, is becoming nasty to the townsfolk, shall I say, into the empire. Uh, so he has to take on a lot of people. Great work in this. Great um, set pieces for the fights. Great swordsmanship. That's the swordsman. I give that one a go. Very, very good. And finally, harping back to what I said about Burning Sea. This is the wave. This is the one that got me into the kind of trilogy of the wave, the quake, Burning Sea. This is about a family who are going to be hit by a tsunami in Norway. And he tries to warn everybody. They don't listen to him. And it's about him and his family trying to escape the tsunami. 
that's basically the premise of it and that's all you need to know uh this as you can see it's got a uk release uh the quake only got a uh, dvd release and as you saw the burn sea got a blu-ray release but this one is the first of the kind of trilogy like i said uh highly recommend this one if you like your kind of disaster movies this is well up there with the, the best um if not the best to be honest with you i thoroughly thoroughly enjoy this film i highly recommend this to everybody and everybody who recommend i've recommended too has thoroughly enjoyed it so if you want to get uh, your your hands or your eyes or your people on watching a good disaster movie which is this is the one for you so there you go that's the way and that are my recommendations or those are my recommendations so there you go kind of a shortish video of my recommendations to you guys uh, what do you think of those? Uh, let me know in the comments, as I said earlier. Um, again, don't forget to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Very much appreciated. Um, that's it, really. Just a quick let you know. I hope everyone's going to have a lovely weekend. Um, I've got nothing planned. It's just a standard daddy daycare weekend as always for me every weekend uh, i'm just lucky that i had a couple of hours off work tonight before i picked my little darlings up from the mother-in-laws but you don't need to know that anyway yes thanks again for watching um i pre appreciate every watch every comment every thumbs up every thumbs down uh, as long as my videos are getting watched boom that makes me happy anyways this is jordy paul last surviving member of magpie movies wishing you all the best of the weekend and saying what we do in life echoes in eternity and I'll catch you on my next. I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now, boys and girls.